Hey, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in St. Augustine, Florida today on a brand new boat from Nortec. This is the 392 Superfish, and I'm about to tell you exactly why I think it deserves that name, Superfish. First, it begins with a Nortec performance hull. This is a double step bottom that's built with Kevlar and carbon fiber reinforcing, ultra sturdy and ultra strong, and it's powered by four Mercury Racing 450s. That's 1,800 horsepower, and it's all controlled by this super smooth electric helm by Seastar and Mercury's digital throttle and shift. Now, Nortec went with Seastar's electric helm because it makes rigging the upper station so easy. Up above, you've got the same great control of that horsepower, and it's a super smooth ride with room for you and a buddy or two. Now, let's shut the motors down and let me show you some of the great details on board. As we said, this boat is built with a carbon fiber Kevlar weave, and you can actually see some of that layup in the forward locker. One thing I really like, though, is when you come back to the dash, you've got a carbon fiber dash panel. It's a great look. Of course, it's sturdy, but it just looks really cool. We've got two 22-inch Garmin displays. We've also got the Mercury vessel view gauges, one behind us, one up here overhead. And you've got two 17-inch displays facing aft. I like that because it lets the rest of the crew be engaged in the ride. And you've got one more 12-inch display in the upper station. Now rigged this way, you can expect better than 80 miles per hour out of this boat, and everybody's gonna be comfortable while you're doing it. You've got an extra wide helm seat here, and I like the way these flip up bolsters work. That gives you great seated driving or great standing driving. There's a footrest down below that adds to the ergonomic comfort of this whole setup. Now in addition to the great performance, there are other reasons why this boat is called Superfish, and it's time we talked about them. First, take a look at this rigging station here. You've got a frigid, rigid cooler that slides out for additional seating, slide it away for cockpit fighting space. The rigging station has an ice chest and a sink in the top. You've got plenty of tackle storage on either side. Now let's get to the transom where the action all happens on the water. Now when you step back to the transom, the most noticeable thing are these dual 65 gallon live wells and you've got tuna tubes on either side. Now this entire system is pressurized and the heart of it is down below. Look at this. You've got an enormous sea chest down below. There's five pumps on this and you'll notice only four live well ports. One is a spare. You're also taking the water out of the sea chest for a pressure washer on board and your raw water wash downs. It's enormous, it's filtered, and it's going to make sure that your bait gets to the fishing grounds lively and healthy. Now that system turns the water over in your live well 45 times in an hour, and that's unheard of. Now when you get past the wow of those live wells, you're gonna notice that there are over 80 rod holders on board. My favorites are these gem locks right here in the gunnels. Those lock in place with a collar that screws on from the bottom so there are no fasteners from the top to look kind of shabby or to get rusty. It's a great look, very sleek and sturdy. Now, the outriggers are special. They're a lee base, and you've got a Gemlux carbon fiber system, and you'll notice that the lines run through the carbon fiber tubes, so that streamlines that system for less drag and a better look. Another cool feature in the cockpit is the ability to plug in this rocket launcher table system. You've got cup holders and four rocket launchers set in beautiful teak wood. Now the cockpit is designed to make bringing fish aboard or leadering one easy. You've got a 24 inch height to the gunnel here. You can easily lean over and grab the fish by the bill or the leader. As you move forward, it's only 34 inches up at the bow, making it easy to gaff a fish and bring it in the boat, drop it in the fish box. Now even in a 39 footer like this, fishermen are starting to discover the pleasure of using an electric trolling motor with autopilot systems in it. This Rodan 36 volt motor has a 96 inch shaft and with three batteries will hold you in place over your fishing hole for as long as you need to. Now the 392 Superfish has 10 batteries on board. Three of them run this trolling motor. You've got four starter batteries and the remainder are house batteries to run all your navigation electronics, your radar, and this awesome JL audio system. There's over 30 speakers here and five digitally tuned amps to really pump out the sound forward, you've got a thousand pound capacity ice chest for your fish, and there's two more aft. 
You've also got bucket lockers near the transom in the cockpit and two rod lockers forward of the console on either side. Now the 392 is not just about hardcore fishing. It's about fun at the sandbar too. And there are plenty of creature comforts on board for all day fun. You've got this large double lounge in front of the console. Up on top, you've got a double couch there. Aft in the cockpit, you've got that convertible seating area that goes over the live wells and turns that into a comfortable lounging area. Finally, underneath the console, you've got a large head compartment and a double berth, and it does coincidentally give you easy access to servicing your electronics panel inside. You can also shade your passengers in the 392 with the removable cockpit shade and the foredeck shade. The 392 Superfish is designed to fish hard, run hard on high performance motors, and give your passengers plenty of comfort and fun. I'm Randy Vance, and I'm going to fire up these racing motors one more time.